Good day, you're right. Uh, today we are looking at the area of rhombuses and kites. Um, so this is another lot of shapes that we need to know the area formula for. Uh, and let's uh, get on with it. So just a reminder, a rhombus is like a parallelogram, uh, except we have all equal sides. Now you can actually measure the area of a rhombus using the parallelogram formula if you happen to know the per uh, perpendicular height and the side length. Okay, so you can do, you remember though, uh, you don't measure it by the, uh, slant length, you do it by perpendicular height. Okay, but um, we might not know the perpendicular height. We might instead be given the uh, values of the diagonals. That is the lines that go from uh, opposite corners uh, that go through the middle of the shape. Okay, so for the area of a rhombus, okay, the formula is half X times Y. Now you're thinking, what is X and Y? Okay, X and Y are the diagonals. So, are the diagonals. So, uh, if you know the length of the diagonals, you can then use those to calculate the area of a rhombus and a kite. Uh, so, let's do a couple of examples, and then I'm going to show you why this is the case. So, let's do the examples first. Okay, it's a rhombus. So, we identify the shape. It's a rhombus. We uh, work out what the formula is half xy, and then we substitute the values times 13 times 11. Okay, uh, so we're going to just pop that in our calculator, and we get 0 0.5 times. 13 times 11 gives us 71.5 centimeters squared. Okay. And then similarly, uh, okay, identify its shape. It's a rhombus. Use the formula half xy. So half times x, 7 times y, x. Doesn't uh, matter which one, uh, which diagonal is x, which one's y. Uh, they, they, you just substitute uh, each diagonal in. And uh, we can replace these with seven and six. And my guess is gonna be 21, nice. We get 21 centimeters squared, okay? Now for a kite, uh, kites are different, okay? We have adjacent sides equal. So we've got two short sides equal and then two um, uh, longer sides that are equal, but the area formula is the same for a kite. So all we have to do is go, okay, identify that it's a kite and then think half XY, go five times nine. Okay, five times nine is 45. Half of that is gonna be 22.5 centimeters squared. Okay, and now you might be thinking, uh, how did we get this formula from half XY? Where did that come from? Uh, let's do uh, draw a rhombus, or well, let's draw a kite actually. We'll just draw a kite similar to uh, the one here. And we have a triangle that we can make if we split that kite down the middle here. Okay, so when we're doing uh, the height of a triangle, Okay, it's got to be the perpendicular height. So we're going to have the height. Okay, that's going to be the height there. Uh, and then uh, we know that uh, kites are symmetrical. Mine doesn't look very symmetrical. Okay, so we know that that height is also going to be H. Okay, so these are the heights, the perpendicular height of each of these two triangles. And they're the same height, okay, because kites are symmetrical. And it's the same uh, thing with a rhombus. Okay, so if I want to work out what uh, this, um, the formula of this is going to be, okay, let's call uh, this length y, the one that goes across. Um, then we're going to have uh, the area is going to be half h times y, because the base is y. And then we're going to do half h times y again. Okay, but um, what we've got to remember is if we want to work out what this other diagonal is, okay, x, um, 
we know that that's half, that's double, that's twice the length of H. So this, if we've got half HY plus half HY, that's just going to become HY. Okay, but we know that H is half the length of X, so we can change this to half X times Y. Okay, now you don't need to be able to do this again. I'm just showing you that these formulas don't just appear out of thin air. Uh, they're actually, um, we can derive them by using the area of a triangle too. Okay, but what you just need to remember is uh, half the diagonals multiplied together it will give you the area of a rhombus and a kite. Okay, good luck with the work today. I'll see you later.